Breakfast from five, honey bear. Okay, Daddy. Want some more eggs? No, thanks. This Ellis showed us this year citizenship award. It's a medal. It's really big, like the Olympics. Really? Well, not that big. It's pretty big. I'm gonna win it. Why would it bother me? Hey. Hey, Aunt Angela. Hey. Hey, honey bear. She's got drive. You should be thrilled. Right, Emma? Emma? There's a dead cat in the fountain. Don't be sad. Probably happened very fast. I don't think it felt a thing. Emma Grossman. Thank you, Emma. You're welcome, Mrs. Ellis. Yeah, sounds good. I get it. How did you do that? We have a nest in our backyard. Katie, are you all right? You okay? Your favorite. Thanks, Daddy. You want to read together? We don't have to, Daddy. I know how busy you are. What would you give me for a basket of hugs? A basket of kisses. 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 You look like a movie star. Don't make me late, Dad. I won't. Every year, we honor someone of character, someone who truly embodies the values that this school was founded on. This year, I am proud to award the St. Alden Citizenship Medallion to Milo Curtis. Medal's mine. I deserve it. Milo can't even talk in front of the class. Come on. Everybody has something special to offer. Milo's a good kid. Yeah. Well, he's an awful public speaker, and he can't spell. Emma. You're right. I'm sorry. Mel's my friend. I'm really happy he got it. We should go back now. Emma, what's wrong? What do you want? I think you know. Going. 
Sure. Has anyone seen Milo? I haven't seen him. Emma, have you seen him? Um, the last place I saw him was by the bonfire. Somebody help us! <sighs> yes, I'm sure it will. Morning, Dad. Morning, hon. Do you want some cereal? There's just enough left. No, I'm okay, thanks. How are you feeling? I'm all right. I hope it doesn't rain today. I meant about yesterday. You must be pretty sad, right? If you want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Okay. Do you need someone to talk to? I don't really think there's anything to talk about. There she is, Emma. This is Chloe. Chloe, this is Emma. Hi, Emma. It's very nice to meet you. I like your necklace. Do you want to see my medals? Place there. Watch a movie. The wind was blowing a window open. I'll be down in a minute. I don't get it. This is stupid. What's stupid? Shirley Temple. The woman was United States ambassador. Can't imagine she was very stupid. So you sad about the kid that drowned? I don't think it matters if I'm sad. He's dead anyway. Besides, my dad said you don't feel anything when you drown. So what are you into? I think I'm gonna stay up past my bedtime tonight. Now go and get me some ice cream. You little bitch. Dad, what are you doing in my room? It's always picked up. Anything else? Anybody an update? How did Milo fall off that cliff? That's what we're gonna find out. But if Emma heard or saw something, we need to know. That boy couldn't swim and he was afraid of water. Why was he out on the rocks? You little shit. At least three people saw her near the rock face. No, we're not saying Emma did anything wrong. Well, I should hope not. Listen, I'd be very careful what you insinuate. Ah! Emma? Emma? Emma! What happened? Are you okay? It's okay. Accidents happen. Oh. Nope. You're sure? You weren't ever out on that rock face, were you? No. How would you say that? Would you give me for a basket of kisses? Your dad thinks you have major issues, Curly Sue. What do you mean? He knows what's up. He was grilling me about you. What do you ask? Wouldn't you like to know? Don't worry, I told him how great you are. Yeah, I'd be worried too if I were you. I'm not worried about anything. You're just being a bitch. If it was fun exactly, but I had a good day. Are 
are you doing? Nothing. Where did you find it? It was hidden under the bed. How did Milo Curtis's medal get under? For a minute. I think I saw something in the fountain. Pretty happy with yourself, aren't you? Forgot who I was dealing with, you little psycho. Emma! Fine, thank you. Mrs. Curtis, we have something that we want to give to you. That's right. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have kept it. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, now we don't have to talk about Milo ever again, right? I'm gonna run, Daddy. Chloe and I are baking cupcakes today. Hey, gotta leave soon for a doctor's appointment. I'll be ready. Daddy, I was thinking. You're right. I think something good will come of this. I hope so. I'm what's called You're a shrink. Well, you know that term. I watch intervention. I understand that your friend Milo recently passed away. That's right. Was that the first time someone you knew died? No. Emma, I'm going to tell you a secret. I did the exact same things as you when I was your age. <laughs> uh. Well, you two seem to have really hit it off. <laughs> oh, we had a great talk, didn't we, Emma? Yes. <laughs> um, Daddy, can I go outside? Sure. What do you care? I'm gonna have my dad get rid of you. You can give me that psycho stare all you want, but the fact is this, single, and he was totally just scoping me out. Oh, honey, you scare me. Do you like Chloe? Wait, what? She said that you like her. And why would she say something like that? You tell me. Emma. I don't want a stepmother. Ever. Emma! hasn't told us much, but apparently the young woman. It's okay, Daddy. Nothing happened to me. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to get into trouble. I won't do it again. Mrs. Levia, your first nanny. What happened to her? She should have never grabbed my arm. Someone kicked her. She fell down the stairs. I didn't do anything wrong. She's the adult. She should have protected herself better. If Mrs. Ellison of Wasps. Tonight, what did you do to Chloe? Emma! 
the sheriff will get to the bottom of this eventually, so don't give me the bullshit story. You said bullshit. Emma, do you know what could happen to you? Do you? What could happen to us? Yes, Daddy. They're gonna take me and they're gonna put me in the little chair, the little pink electric chair. I really don't want to go there. I don't want to be myself. Emma, what are you talking about? Chloe said she knew about Milo and one day everyone would. She said that they were gonna take me to this little electric chair they put kids in. She told me she was gonna be my stepmother. Uh, Emma, calm down. I don't want a stepmother! Emma! She stole pills from your room. I watched. She fooled you. You weren't gonna do anything about it. No! <laughs> So you did. Isn't that right? Someone had to. Emma. Pack your things. We have to leave. Where are we going? The lake house. Why? You hate it there. I don't need it there. That's what you said once. How long will we be there? Can answer? Snooping on me? Thank you, we're snooping on me. Why would you do that to me? I'm the only person you have. No. If something happened to you, I'd live without Angela. Brought your favorite. Can I have whipped cream on? Do you want to read together, Daddy? I don't think so. Will you sit with me until I fall asleep? Sure, honey bear. she wanted to do, no matter what the cost.
You're alive. Yes, Daddy. I didn't drink the hot chocolate you made for me. You did. When I switched them. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Sorry, can you say that again? What Emma! is your emergency? Emma! 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 Open the door! Emma! Stop right now! Don't listen to her. She's not right. There's something wrong with her. Turn the gun. I have to do this. I'm so sorry. Was Daddy sick?